everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Yamane's first love. Oh, yeah. It sure feels like spring is here now. Hey, look. Huh? I see the spring arrived here, too. Ah, so beautiful. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here comes the only person whose face looks like the winter is still here. Yamane. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, my father told me I needed to get into shape, so I'm just out doing some slow running. I didn't know there's so much going on. Oh, yeah. Why don't we go together? Oh. Ah, there they are. Oh my, that's not good. Are you okay? Huh? Maru-chan! Huh? Take my hand. Oh, all right. Here we go. Maru-chan, are you okay? Yeah. Thank you. You sure saved me. Oh, I'm drenched. You need to take your shoes off and dry them. Uh, uh excuse me. Yeah? Uh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> Wow! They're so cute! Eh? So you go to the school right next to our town? What grade are you girls in, Maru-chan? We're in the third grade. Then we're in the same grade! Oh, there goes one! What? Where, where? Maru-chan, they're right there! That was really fun! Hey, why don't we play together again this coming Sunday? Do you mean this coming Sunday? Yeah, then I'll see you here again. Bye. 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 The next day. Ah, Yamane. Good morning. Good morning. Uh. Look, I brought the tadpoles we caught yesterday. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this Sunday, and we get to play with Kumiko-chan again. Uh, oh, him. Yeah. Uh. Huh? All right, next. <laughs> and next. <laughs> and next. <laughs> Hurts. Teacher, it looks like Yamane-kun has terrible stomach pain. I see. Then you better take him to the infirmary. And next. I am... I'm not gonna go with you girls on Sunday. What? But why? <laughs> Is it because you actually don't really like Kumiko-chan much? What? No, I am... Um... Mm -hmm. 
Kimiko Chan is the first girl that I've ever fallen in love with in my life. What? So that means first love? Shh. <laughs> we actually went to the same kindergarten. Wow, this is a big surprise. You were quite a precocious kindergarten kid despite your look, weren't you? Kamiko chan didn't seem to remember you from before, Yamana-kun. I was really frail and unoppressive, and I was a good-for-nothing nobody hiding in the shadows back then. Yamane. If that's the case, then why don't you get tougher? Sakura? Why don't you show her how much stronger you are now as an elementary student? He always gets these stomach aches. When he gets nervous or depressed, he gets these terrible aches in his stomach. Well, I'd say the only way to get over that is to gain experience and build some courage. Even these baseball players here need to put themselves through difficult moments. And that's why they can hit the baseball in pressure situations. You've played in a lot of games, Dad, but that still doesn't mean you can hit a ball at all. <clears throat> Be quiet. If you do some breathing exercises, then it'll probably calm you down. Maruko, you think so much about things that don't really matter, and that is what is making you more tense. Mm. If you close your eyes like this, you will enter the realm of nothingness and clarity. Ah, oh. Grandpa knows a lot. Mm -hmm. He just fell asleep. <sighs> He's not thinking of anything at all. <sighs> One, two, three, Yamane. four. Sakura, you're right about what you said. By the time I get to see Kamiko-chan again, I will show her how strong I am now. That's the way to go, Yamane. If you experience enough nervous situations, you will build courage. All right. Round up. We're doing the long jump today again. Uh, teacher, I would like to be the first one to jump. Boy. <sighs> Next! If you just take a deep breath, you'll relax. <sighs> Who's next? <laughs> My stomach hurts. Yamane! Yamane! Mm. When I was in kindergarten. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh. It's your turn, Yamane! Um. You can't jump, can you? I... I can't jump. Well, hurry up and jump, then. Here I go. <laughs> Yamane-kun! So again, my stomach started to hurt, and I couldn't jump, so Kamiko-chan walked me all the way home. You know how embarrassing that is? It's not true. I'm not gonna come on Sunday. I'm sorry. Bye. <sighs> and on Sunday. Kamiko-chan, you're so good. By the way, the boy from last time isn't coming today, is he? Uh, uh-huh. I'm finished. Wow. wow! It's beautiful. It'd be even more beautiful if I used clovers. Ah, let's go look for clovers. I bet you the girls are probably playing with Kamiko-chan right now. Oh, hi! Huh? Amane. Ah, oh, there are so many clovers here. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. That was the best one I ever made. Hey, I can, I can go get it. Yamane! Good luck, Yamane. Now is the time not to overthink it. Go with your instincts and free yourself from thinking. Free myself from thinking, huh? All right! Free myself. Free my thoughts. Oh, no. If I can't make this jump as a third grader, it'll be even more embarrassing than when I failed as a kindergartner. <sighs> Free my thoughts, free my thoughts. No, I'm jumping. I'm gonna get over my fears. Once and for all. Yamane! 
Wait, are you Tiyoshi kun? You're Tiyoshi kun that couldn't jump across the stream because of a stomach ache, right? <clears throat> Isn't that a good thing, Yamani? She actually remembers you. Yeah, I am glad that she remembers me, but it's not so good that she remembers me like that. <laughs> I remember that time I had my lotus flower retaken by those boys. And Choshi kun was the one that told the boys to stop it. And the boys said, if your money can jump over the stream bank, then they'll give it back to me. Oh, wow. All done. I have to go home pretty soon. What? You're going home already? Our family is moving now. We're taking the bullet train to Tokyo this evening. What? Oh, you can't. Uh, Yamane. Take care of yourself, Yamane-kun. Uh, I, uh... Go away, stomach, go away, go away, stomach ache. You take care too, Kimiko-chan. I want to give you this. It's my thank you for protecting me back then. Bye-bye. <gasps> Bye-bye! Yamane! Are you all right, Yamane? I'm gonna make sure that I get stronger for the next time I see her. She's gonna see a new, stronger Yamane. Yeah. Yamane! Because of his stomach ache, he embarrassed himself in front of his first love again. That's just like our Yamane. However, Kimiko's memories of Yamane are different. She remembers Yamani as a kind person with a big heart. In this episode, the secret notebook of Noguchi-san. Good morning to you, Tana-chan. Good morning. Mara-chan, did you do your homework? It was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> I got it down. My sister taught me everything. I'll help you if you have any problems, Tama-chan. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what? What's the matter, Maru-chan? Oh, no. I can't. I can't find my notebook with my homework in it. I'm absolutely sure I brought it with me. What? <sighs> oh, hey, Noguchi-san. I wonder what's wrong with Noguchi-san. My notebook. Notebook? Noguchi-san, you can't find your notebook? <sighs> I see. Noguchi-san forgot her homework notebook, too. We're friends on the same wavelength. That's not it. Hmm? Then what notebook are you looking for? It's a secret. Hmm? It seems like a special notebook for her. Yeah, I wonder what's special about that notebook. I couldn't find it there either. Next place to look. Noguchi-san! So you still can't find your notebook? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we help find the notebook for you? What? Right, Tama-chan? Yep. We will help. Thank you very much. We weren't able to find it at school either. Noguchi-san's secret notebook. Yeah. Then let's check her route to school. Did you say Noguchi's secret? Huh? huh? That sounds like an interesting story. Sekiguchi, Hamaji. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. You're talking about Noguchi's secret notebook? Sekiguchi, why don't we go find that secret notebook first, man? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys, hold on a minute. Sorry, I took so long. <laughs> notebook, we have to find it before Hamaji and Sekiguchi. Yes, we do. Uh. <sighs> Oh, wait! Noguchi-san, why are you going that way? Huh? Let's follow them.
them and then jump ahead. Oh yeah, let's definitely find it before they do and see what's written inside of it. There was even a secret path like this. Neither did I. I think Noguchi-san is a bit different after all. <laughs> Going to school using this kind of path is just like her. <laughs> huh? Huh? What's the matter, Noguchi-san? Did you find it? <laughs> huh? A cat? Eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> that cat has such a strong-looking face. True indeed. Huh? Statue of Buddha. What? Yeah, it is. Even the shape of the head looks just like Buddha. <laughs> oh my, Noguchi-san, what are you praying for? For whatever reason, she's really showing her appreciation. Yeah, really. Hmm, it's really not easy to find. Huh? Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find it, Noguchi-san. Come on, cheer up. It's my very precious comedy notebook. Comedy notebook? I guess it wasn't a secret notebook after all. Hmm. A comedy notebook. I want to see it. Huh? Hey, did you find it? No. What about you? No, I can't find it. Ah, Maruko! Hey, we're going to find the secret notebook of Noguchi before you girls, all right? Huh? Uh, no, Noguchi-san. I'll explain what happened. To tell you the truth, Hamaji and Sekiguchi overheard our conversation and they got curious. Uh, huh? What's the matter, Noguchi-san? Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be that I might have dropped it over there. What? Where is it? Where is there? Why don't you tell us? Go straight on this road and make a left at the fifth corner street and then go straight until the end of the road. Let's go, Sekiguchi! All right! Oh, 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 Noguchi san, we have to hurry up and go there too! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Noguchi san? Simple minded. I get it. Noguchi san intentionally lied to the both of them. Those two completely believed it, didn't they? Yeah. Nice, Noguchi san. That's very witty. We came all the way to Noguchi-san's house already. Come on in. Thank, Thank you, you for letting, letting us in. in. Uh, Tama-chan, how about there? I guess we couldn't find it after all. Yep. My precious comedy notebook. I'm home now. Oh, hey, Emiko. Please take my bag and put it in my room. I'm going on a date with my girl now. Huh? You heard me. Make sure you get it done. You understand me, right? I'm coming now, sweetheart! <sighs> That's some kind of big brother she has. Yeah, he's really terrible. Compared to that guy, it makes my sister look like an angel or a goddess. <laughs> Oh, 
Noguchi-san, you should make him carry that bag on his own. <laughs> you follow your brother's orders, so that's why he feels he can get away with it like that. Ah, just don't do it! Ah! Ah, I'm sorry. Huh? My comedy notebook. What? what? So it was your brother who had it then? But why did he have it? Uh. I'm running late, I'm running late! Ah, what is your problem, Emiko? <laughs> oh, hey, Noguchi-san. I'm wondering what kind of things are written in that notebook. What? Could it be that it's ideas for comedy? If you don't mind, I'd like to see it, yeah? Please show it to me. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much, Noguchi-san. <laughs> Let me see this. Eh? Today, Maruko-san showed up to school with a hole in her sock on the big toe. Uh. Thank you for giving a nice silly laugh as usual. <laughs> uh, I didn't think anyone even noticed it, but uh... Maru-chan? Maruko-san is a regular in the comedy notebook. What? I'm a regular? Whether it was a good thing or not to desperately look for Noguchi-san's notebook, Maruko was having mixed feelings about it. Meanwhile... Hey! Somebody help me! Don't come this way! <laughs> Hamaji and Sekiguchi, they get easily fooled. Yup. Hmm. <laughs> 